Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Daily Bread, June 6th. It is high time to awake out of sleep. It must be time for the waiting church to cast her pride away. With girded loins and burning lamps to look for the breaking of the day. Oh, it must be the breaking of the day. Oh, it must be the breaking of the day. The night is almost gone. The day is coming on. Oh, it must be the breaking of the day. It is high time to awake out of sleep. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Romans chapter 13, verses 11 and 12. The days in which we live are eventful and full of peril. The signs of the coming of the end are thickening around us, and events are to come to pass that will be of a more terrible character than any the world has yet witnessed. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. But to those who have the light of truth, it has been written, Ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light, and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh, at even or at midnight, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning, lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. There is great need that our weakening faith should be quickened, and that we should ever keep before the mind the evidences that the Lord is soon coming, that we may ever be found not only waiting, but watching and working. We are not to be found in idle expectancy, for this leads to carelessness of life and deficiency of character. We are to realize that the judgments of God are about to fall upon the earth, and we should most earnestly Present before the people the warning that the Lord has commissioned us to give. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. Men's hearts failing them for fear, and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Let every one who claims to believe that the Lord is soon coming search the scriptures as never before, for Satan is determined to try every device possible to keep souls in darkness and blind the mind to the perils of the times in which we are living. Let every believer take up his Bible with earnest prayer that he may be enlightened by the Holy Spirit as to what is truth, that he may know more of God and of Jesus Christ whom he has sent. Search for the truth as for hidden treasures and disappoint the enemy. The time of test is just upon us, for the loud cry of the third angel has already begun in the revelation of the righteousness of Christ, the sin-pardoning Redeemer. This is the beginning of the light of the angel, whose glory shall fill the whole earth. For it is the work of every one to whom the message of warning has come, to lift up Jesus, 
to present him to the world as revealed in types, as shadowed in symbols, as manifested in the revelations of the prophets, as unveiled in the lessons given to his disciples, and in the wonderful miracles wrought for the sons of men. Search the scriptures, for they are they that testify of him. This passage was taken from the Review and Herald, November 22, 1892. Our Daily Bread, June 6th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.